James Joyce obviously is known primarily as a writer of fiction, but his very first published book was Chamber Music. He kept on writing poetry throughout his life, which was something which meant a great deal to him. So we thought it would be very appropriate to celebrate Irish poetry on this Bloom's Day. The Ireland Chair of Poetry was established in 1998 to mark uh, Seamus Heaney's 1995 Nobel Prize for Literature. It's a collaboration among the Arts Councils North and South and three universities, Queen's, Trinity and UCD. Well, the Ulysses Medal is of course named in honour of Joyce and in honour of the great hero of the Odyssey, who was of course a global figure, a wanderer, a kind of transnational um, cultural icon. That is true not just about Seamus Heaney, who of course has been a professor in Harvard and in Oxford and in Japan. It's true of so many of the people who have held the Ireland professorship. And occasionally this ratifies the art in public. I mean, there's a little ritual that says we as a society value this activity. And, um, and so that, that, that is kind of make, makes the day a pretty important. Longley's poetry unites emotion and intelligence in an idiom of awareness. This writer has identified the link in the art he loves the most as that which transforms the everyday and shows the divine. I was saying to some students recently, um, they all, all want to write their best-selling detective novels, you know. Uh, I was saying that uh, prose is for sissies. Uh, <laughs> But the real stuff's poetry. Yeah. More than any other Irish language poet ever, her work is read and interpreted internationally and at home. Her reputation is universal wherever contemporary Irish poetry is read. The word, the Irish language, bows to Nuala Nigonal and she is bound to it. This is the condition of poets in Irish as far back as we know. She deserves the university's esteem. John Montagu has achieved the status of one of the major poets writing in the English language. His journey has followed a creative map that has taken in points of contact and influence. From his very early years in Brooklyn, his childhood and youth in rural County Tyrone, and his undergraduate studies in University College Dublin. I, I had no plan to write poetry. I, I wanted to be best-selling novelist. <laughs> that, that didn't happen. <laughs> But this strange kind of disease, having to write poetry, having to try to write poetry, uh, which for me was only concerned with examinations. I didn't think that it could be things like a poet. John Montague has blessed us with a body of writing that explores ways of knowing, that stirs our memories, deepens our experiences, and enriches our lives. Paul Durkin is renowned for his outspoken, comic, and often deeply moving poems, the fruit of many years' attentive observation of life in Ireland. His acute eye for political hypocrisy and social distortion is balanced by an ability to picture the world transformed, by a belief in the possibility of goodness, even amid the shortfalls of self and society. For Harry Clifton, nation and home are not easily known or defined. And so his masterful command of form reflects the play of differences as he travels both literally and imaginatively. And this insight into journeys moves not to reject Ireland, but to know it as if from the outside, and so know it differently. Kieran Carson's place at the pinnacle of Irish writing is secure. For him, art is an adventure, a mysterious, marauding, and marauding exploration of the possible and impossible. Doonesbury is the creation of one of the most multi-talented artists ever to work in journalism. And so today, after more than 14,000 daily and Sunday strips, a Pulitzer Prize, a Broadway musical, an animated TV special, Oscar and Grammy nominations, a wide-ranging website, and 60 published collections and books, including the massive new 40th anniversary retrospective, we are pleased and indeed privileged to honour Gary Trudeau. Well, Bloom's Day is a special day in the uh, academic year for UCD. It's a day when we celebrate the creative genius of perhaps our most famous graduate, James Joyce, 
with an honorary degree ceremony. And, and, and this year in particular, we're honoring uh, probably the world's most famous uh, cartoonist, uh, Gary Trudeau, but also uh, a very special day because we're honoring uh, some of Ireland's uh, greatest living poets, uh, many of whom have spent time at this university as uh, the Ireland chairs Ireland professors of poetry.